Another ruling on the Defense of Marriage Act marks the anti-gay law's eighth recent loss in court. Also this week, a former Prop 8 supporter releases a new video explaining his change of heart, and polling in marriage battleground states remains very close, just days out from the election. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to Marriage News Watch for October 22, 2012. The Federal Defense of Marriage Act has struck out again. The Second Circuit Court of Appeals has ruled in the case Windsor v. United States that DOMA violates the U.S. Constitution. The court also affirmed the use of heightened scrutiny in examining laws that target gays and lesbians. That's a huge victory because it means additional protection against discriminatory laws. The ruling cites AFER's case against Prop 8, pointing out that the argument that withdrawing the designation of marriage from same-sex couples could on its own promote the strength and stability of opposite-sex marital relationships lacks any such footing in reality. This marks the third Court of Appeals to strike down laws that prevent the government from recognizing gay and lesbian relationships. It's DOMA's eighth overall loss in court, and it brings the total number of federal judges who have ruled against marriage bans to 34. Also this week, new polling data out from Gallup shows that 3.4 percent of Americans identify as LGBT. Among groups more likely to identify as LGBT are non-white Americans, young Americans, and people with low income or low education. Turning to states, Minnesota is still locked in a dead heat over a proposed marriage ban. The measure has 47 percent support, up one point from a survey last week. But we've picked up a powerful new ally, David Blankenhorn, who just three years ago testified against the freedom to marry in the Prop 8 case. Here's the former Prop 8 supporter talking to the campaign in Minnesota. There are powerful reasons to believe that we will be a better society if we include gay and lesbian people and their relationships as full and equal parts of society. Polling looks better in Maryland, where a Washington Post survey this week shows support for marriage equality at 52 percent to 43 percent opposed. And in Washington, polling has us ahead among registered voters, 56 to 36 percent. Time is running out to push marriage in the lead-up to the election. Visit AFER.org slash election2012 to learn more and get involved in a state near you. Maine, Maryland, Minnesota, and Washington will all vote on marriage in just two weeks. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. Thanks for watching.